Hey everyone, in this video you will learn how you can send Google Calendar events as actions into Focuster application automatically. So guys, Google Calendar is a event scheduling application and Focuster is a task management and scheduling application. So we are connecting them both to boost your productivity. And here you can see the flow of this automation. Here guys, as and when you are going to add any event in Google Calendar, an action will be created in Focuster automatically. For that, we have connected Google Calendar as our trigger application and Focuster as our action application. And guys, we have set up this automation using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And we can set up this automation without any coding very easily. So let's start. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. We have pasted the same link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. And guys, here you have to click on this create workflow button to create the automation workflow. And here you can give a suitable name to this workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as Google Calendar to Focuster. Okay, so after giving the name like this, you have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is started loading here. All right, and on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two modules, we can set up any automation. So guys, trigger, in this trigger module, we have to connect that application in which the trigger event is occurring. And trigger event is that event which is going to start this workflow. And the action would be the consequence towards the trigger. Okay, so here in our case, the trigger would be Google Calendar. So search for Google Calendar here. Okay, you can see Google Calendar icon, select this. And after that, select the trigger event, which is new event. Okay. All right, and here you can see it is showing every 10 minutes. So this trigger is going to check in every 10 minutes and see if there is a new event in your calendar or not. And if there is a new event, this workflow is going to trigger and create an action in Focus Store. Okay. So first of all, you need to connect with Google Calendar here. So click on connect. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Calendar. And from here, you have to choose that Google account by which you have the access to that calendar. Then you have to provide some additional access to your account that is completely safe. Just click on continue and you can see we are getting connected with Google Calendar. Okay, so authorization is successful and we are connected. And here it is asking for the calendar's name. So let me show you my calendar guys. This is a calendar in which I am uh, scheduling my upcoming events. And here you can see the name of my calendar is meeting and daily routine. Okay, this is the name. So I'm going to select this calendar from this list. The name is meeting and daily routine. Here you can see the name, select this. Okay, now you have the save and send test request button. So when you click on it, uh, the most recent event that you have created in Google Calendar will be fetched here as the test data. Okay, so let me show you. Let me create a new event here on 29th of September, let's see. So here I'm giving the name uh, of this event as meeting with client. Okay, this is the event. This is the date and the time of the event. Here you can add the guest in this meeting as well. I have added one guest here. And here I'm providing a small description. An online meeting for discussing business okay this is a small description and here i'm clicking on save okay i do not want to send the email right now i'm clicking don't send and here you can see uh, the event is created here in this calendar at this day 29th okay so here i'm going to click on save and send test request and let's see here you can see the data got captured and here you can see in the summary the title of the meeting is here meeting with client and this description is here an online meeting for discussing business this is the creator's email this is the display name of the calendar and all the things are captured here along with the attendees email as well 
So this is how we can capture the test data. So guys, uh, we want to create an action for this event that we have created in Google Calendar in Focuster here. Okay, so in Focuster, uh, you have to connect it here. Use this action step and from here, search for Focuster. And the action event would be create an action. Then click on connect. From here, select add new connection. And then here you can see it is asking for the API key of Focuster. So to find this key, you need to reach the settings of Focuster. Let me show you that. Okay, and here you can see we have this profile icon inside Focuster. From here, click on settings. And under settings on the left hand side panel, you will find this integrations tab. Click on it. And this is the API key that we want. Just copy this key, paste this key here. Okay, then click on save. And here you can see we got connected with Focuster. Here it is asking for the title of the action, note and all these things. So I'm going to use the test data that I have received here in the first step. And I'm going to map these labels here in the second step. For that, you just have to click here and it will show you the previous step or the trigger in the drop down. And when you click on it, it will show up all the data right here. From here, you can map the title as a summary. Okay. And here, let me map the description in the notes. Here you can select the list in which you want to create an action. So we have today or to do. You can see here uh, in focus term. This is the days list, today's list, and this is the to do list. Okay. So you can select anyone. I am selecting, let's say, today only. Here you can provide a due date as well if you want. Right now, I do not want to add any due date. So I'm leaving this blank because the. Okay. So we have this uh, start date here of the event we can map it as the due date. Okay, so I'm mapping start date as the due date. Right. And here in the position, you can select the position as well. So we are done mapping the data. Now you can check your connection with focus by clicking on save and send test request and a new uh, action will be created here in this list. Let me show you. So I have clicked on save and send test request and action ID is generated here. Let me show you in focus now. And here you can see we got a new action created automatically here with the title meeting with client and the due date is due date is due day is Thursday. It is showing here. Okay. Thursday and here when you click when you put the cursor, you can see the date as well. And when you click here, you will see the notes as well. Okay, so this is how you can create an action automatically inside focus stores. So you have to set up this automation like this only once. After that, you don't have to, you don't even have to touch this workflow. This is done here. After that, as and when you are going to add any event here in your calendar, you can see the actions created in Focuster automatically and the workflow is going to run in the background. Okay. And guys, if you want to use this workflow, you can use it because I'm going to paste the link in the description of this workflow. And you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.